This is Aquafortis from Aquafortis Astrology. Hello. So here we are for the weekly horoscope of the first week of October that starts from the 1st to the 7th of October 2017. So here's, here's the overview. It's quite a week. Uh, we have we start with three planets in Libra and we have Sun, Mercury and Jupiter. That makes us social, let's all make it pleasant mode and diplomatic, but also a little bit indecisive and lazy. Mars and Venus are in Virgo and they'll be meeting as well. There's this love and action coming together with a downward efficient and pragmatic, but it's also obsessive and fine faulting. Uh, Mars and Neptune and um, Mars and Venus are still under Neptune effect, so they're a little bit not really not knowing what they're doing and where they're going. We still have the undertone of Jupiter and Uranus having this explosive conversation. It's past its peak, but we're, on, uh, we're after the event, but they're still in orb, so we can still feel it as a small drumming bass underneath. We have three planets in air, two in Earth and one in fire, and no in water except when the, the moon passes in a water, water sign. That makes us very logical, very pragmatic, with a bit of passion, but not very empathic, and we can't handle emotions very well this week. So, you warn. We do have a full moon in Aries on the 5th of October 2017. I've done a video completely on that. Just click underneath, there will be the link, or go on my channel under the um, new uh, full moon uh, horoscopes, you find them there. Uh, moon is uh, growing in its splendor up to Thursday, up to its to, uh, the full moon. So it's good up till then to start new things and pushing things through. After that, the moon will start waning, and so it's it's better for things you would like to see diminishing in your life. And this week, we do have a 13-hour long moon, of course. So just stay tuned. I'm going to go through it bit by bit in a practical way that you can hopefully understand and make use of it. Right, so we start with Sunday, 1st of October 2017. We start with a moon in Aquarius. So we are Mr. Spock mood. We are logical. Feeling at home with all the world, cosmopolitan, but really we are unemotional, opinionated, and quite obstinate sometimes in thinking that we are right in what we're thinking. It's a good day to socialize, but where not much emotions are needed, so it's good for scientific meetings and exchange of ideas, but not when you need to be empathic with the other person. It's not the right move for that. Monday, on uh, 2nd October 2017, we start during the night with 0136 Central European Daylight Time, Mars trines Pluto. So that's quite a, an energy. It's a strong Earth energy that wants to push things forward. And in so doing, these things get transformed, sometimes beyond our recognition. That's Pluto's... Uh, way of doing things. So yes, we want Mars that wants the action, and Virgo wants it's precise and efficient, but Pluto in Capricorn, it's pushing it through, but it's going to transmutate it. And perhaps we finish with something we really don't recognize, but it's okay at the end, hopefully. We do have a moon void, of course, starting at 13.12 and finishing 16.26 always Central European Daylight Time, so don't start new things, do routine stuff, it's good for relaxing, meditating, or, or doing things that don't require that you are quite logical about them. Now, then the Moon moves in Pisces at 16.26 Central European Time. At least now we have the Moon in the water element, so a bit of emotions, uh, might be able to surface. We're giving a little bit of container to it. 
And with Moon in Pisces, not only would be emotional, but we would be in touch with the whole world through our heart. We can feel empathic with ev everywhere. But we are also dreamy and slightly unfocused. And even our energy usually tends to be a little bit on the low side. Tuesday, 3rd of October 2017. The moon is still in Pisces, so we're still a bit dreamy, empathic, feeling a lot of emotions, and on the low energy side. This time it's Venus in Virgo that it's trining Pluto and Capricorn. So th this time is our desires, our efficient, pragmatic desires in Virgo that get a, a surge of raw primal Earth energy that moves it beyond recognition of those desires. Venus not happy in Virgo, meeting Pluto in Capricorn, well, it might make her feel more obsessive and fanatical than its usual self. We might even be able to express those desires that we usually tend to censor ourselves or that for society it is taboo to speak about. So, you never know. Wednesday, 4th of October 2017, well, Forewarned, we have 13 hours of moon void, of course, from 19, from uh, 9, 18 in the morning till 22, 39. That makes it half past 10 Central European Daylight Time. So those are 13 hours of moon void, of course. So, no starting of new things. Uh, you might never know how they're going to finish if you start them. Schedule things that are your usual routine and they don't require much logic. The clutter things. Clutter, clutter the house. See what, what things are unfinished and finish them. Relax, recuperate, recharge. Uh, it's very good for creative writing, creative drawing, arts in general. And being only alert and in tune with what the messages come from our inner self and through the universe, because then we might be used in them later on in the week. Then at 22.39, moon passes in Aries. Thursday, 5th of October 2017, we have now moon in Aries, so we're feeling dynamic, energetic, ready to start shooting, going on new adventures, but we do also feel a bit argumentative, ready to bark at every single thing that doesn't go really <laughs> as we would like to, and we are generally a little bit more hot-tempered. And today, Venus and Mars meet in Virgo at 17.53 Central European Daylight Time. It's a union of analytical precision. Just imagine these two, Mars and Venus, looking at a watch, and they are ready exactly at the click of the second to meet. Well, it's precision, the beauty of precision and action. Now, it is, yes, bringing desire and action together, but knowing that Venus in Virgo is, is not really happy, when we do get the action together with a, a Venus that is not really happy where it is, we might finish with something that it didn't really work out as it should. But it could work out. There's this possibility. We do even have a full moon in Aries at 2040 Central European Daylight Time. It's explosive energy. Please head to my new my full moon video, full moon in Aries video, and the playlist of the full moons horoscopes. There's a D-Day description of it. So I hope you enjoy it. And on Friday, 6th of October, the energy is roughly the same as we have described for Thursday. Saturday, 7th of October 2017. We do have a moon void, of course, but this time it's uh, uh, about half past midnight till 2 o'clock in the morning, Central European Daylight Time. So most of us will be sleeping, but don't start new things really at that moment. Then the moon shifts in Taurus. So Saturday is a great day to be practical and thorough in things in an easygoing and calm way. But... We might be feeling a little bit stubborn and we want to stick to our routine. It's a great day to enjoy nature, going out for a walk, easy going. Uh, Taurus likes an easy going way, it's not the marathon, the Aries type. 
go for a massage a day at the spa, buy a new perfume. They will really work out with Moon in Taurus. So um, I hope this video has been very, it's, it's helpful at least. Please do comment. Uh, in the comment sections and thumbs up and subscribe because I really would like to know what you are thinking it's not speaking on my own here in front of the camera I would really like to know if these tips tips are helping you how did you manage today with those tips thumbs up and share I, I am on Facebook and, and Instagram as Agua Fortis Astrology and I'm available for private consultations should you need one just send me a message so Thanks a lot and bye for now. Bye-bye.